So let's get underway with the fourth heat out of six for Celia Rotax. Let's take you through the grid for groups B versus D. So Lewis Gilbert and Ariel Elkin will be on the front row. Kai Hunter and Sean Butcher, both heat winners so far today. Well, one of them, if they do make it to the flag first, are they going to win the race and pick up two wins on the bounce? Brandon Carr and Farron Mega ran at row three. Jaden Thien and Paul Fokim at row four. Jan Bouvier and Bennett Ahrens ran at the top ten. Jens van der Heyden and Matty Hingley ran out at row six. Aditya Kulkarni and Emily de Hoys row seven. Ralph van der Kegel and Jenny Kukalainen row eight. Liam Hesemans and James Johnson row nine. Mats Johan Overhoff and William Heldstam ran at the top twenty. Yanni Niemi, uh, Sonia Grunland, Arno Domingo, Milo Paskinen, Matthias Brun. William Christensen, Daniel Moalem, Kaz Boshals, and Curtis Latimer round out the 29 straight. So race 14 of the meeting, heat four, senior Rotax. Groups B and D about to get into readiness for a 10 minute plus an additional lap race. Out of the final corner, it's Gilbert and Elkin on the front row. Revs rise, are we ready? Are we steady? Lights are out first time, we get underway. And a good start from Lewis Gilbert being followed by Kai Hunter. A little bit of a tussle with uh, Ariel Elkin as Sean Butcher and Brandon Carr also try and make their way through. Every one of the 29 drivers made it through into turn two. Have they made it through into the Yerapalan for the first time? About the next five or six seconds, we're going to find out. It's three wide at places. They've all got through so far. So Lewis Gilbert leading the way. Ariel Elkin looks to have dropped to fifth place. Sean Butcher now behind Kai Hunter. And now the race truly begins into turn 10. Brandon Carr is currently in fourth position. Both the two Israeli representatives here. And look, oh, nearly fanning out three wide, a bit further behind. Still more than likely Bennett Ahrens. And now, Sean Butcher trying to put the frighteners on Kai Hunter. The 395 from Sunderland. Won't take that line down at all. Brandon Carr has got Ariel Elkin behind him. Then Paul Fokima and here's Jaden Thien. Fokima trying to go up the inside of uh, the driver from Israel and has got through. Nearly opened the door for Jaden Thien in the process. And Jaden Thien, I think, got a little bit of a tap from behind. That was far in mega. And Ariel Elkin fires it back up the inside of Paul Fokima to retake fifth position. But now the battle at the front of the field. Keep your eyes on Brandon Carr, 15 years of age. Here is a senior as opposed to a junior like he's been racing in Britain all season long. And now, oh, Hunter with a switch back. Butcher clashes wheels and it's all kicking off at the front. Butcher's got the lead now. And Reese Hunt uh, and Kai Hunter might lose out, not just the lead, not just second. He might lose out third if he's not very careful, but he keeps third position as the 19-year-old from, from Sunderland. Well, that was a bit close for comfort. And look at the trains behind. 
nice little overtake there. That was from the, uh, I think it was the 357. That was Liam Hesemans on uh, Jereko Kalainen from Finland. So youngest drivers 14, eldest drivers 30. And Lewis Gilbert has got Kai Hunter up his inside through turn 10. The 329 doesn't really but resist against that too much. And Sean Butcher has started pulling away. Byron Mega up the inside of Paul Fokima, who got a touch. Now, I'm not too sure who that was. He got a touch, and that might have been possible. I'm not too sure whether it was Matty Hingley or somebody else. But Fokima is being bullied a little bit here at Carson Gank. Him, uh, he's dropping James Johnson now making his way oh bit of a mistake there that was from Brandon Carr through turn seven Jaden Thien has got through so is Farhin Mega and now Ariel Elkin finds himself up into fourth position six minutes and 25 seconds of the clock plus an additional lap still to go Oh, there's a bit of wheel banging as well, a little bit further back. Emily De Hoys will have been battling alongside, that would be Paul Fokema. And so, and she's gonna, and she's trying to get through, <laughs> funny enough, uh, Paul Fokema and Emily De Hoys running under the dams racing team hoarding this weekend. A good little send up the inside, that was on uh, Jens van der Heyden from Bennett Ahrens from Germany. And Wanda Hayden making the switch to JJ Racing. Oh! Van der Heiden's round, and it's caused a little bit of chaos behind. Oh my goodness, of all the places you did not want to have a moment like that, Jens van der Heiden unfortunately found that, uh, found that, and the touch paper was lit. He got away with that one, but I don't think other people. An 856 now pulls into the pits with a flapping rear bumper. On the left-hand side, Yanni Nimi. Uh, unfortunately, the left rear of the back, the left side of the back bumper was flapping around, and James Johnson is also out of the race. Now, Sean Butcher has lost the lead. He's now lost second. Kai Hunter now leads the race. Lewis Gilbert in second position. Keep your eyes on Ariel Elkin just behind in fourth position. Keeping an eye, I think there might. There is also, yeah, there's also another cart uh, on the part of the e uh, the uh, the escape route out of turn seven. There is a cart I've just seen there. So, well, Jens van der Heyden, Jeriko Kalainen, Jan Inyemi, and James Johnson eliminated through that incident. As Gilbert, oh, that was a bit messy going through turn three. And Ariel Elkin just launches it up the inside of Sean Butcher going through into turn four. The uh, 868 from Israel doing a stellar job on the TB cart chassis. But now keep your eyes on those behind. If anyone had the Jaws music right now in the head, I pretty much would appreciate that because it's running in mind now because Fine Mega and Jaden Thien are now in the top six. Seventh is it's Brandon Carr. Jan Bouvier from France rounds out the top eight positions. Then it's Paul Fokima. Matty Hingley has got past Emily De Hoys for 10th position. But Kai Hunter now has extended his lead to just over a second. Nice move from Sean Butcher. Cleanly past Ariel Elkin through into turn two. But the Israeli returns the favour through turn three. And there's Farin Mega. Oh, Butcher's off. Butcher's off, but saves it. And that means that Farin Mega and also Jaden Thien get through. It was a fair move from Butcher and Ariel Elkin. They both made a clean overtake. And then as, uh, as soon as Sean Butcher found that Farin Mega was up his inside, who's now up the inside of Ariel Elkin. There comes Jaden Thien. Oh, tangle with between Thien and Mega. 
and Mega's going to run a little bit wide coming out of turn 10. Jaden Thing keeps it pinned around the outside and Sean Butcher's back in the mix. That's how quickly it can change in senior road tax. Third place is really being hotly contested because look behind, here comes the cavalry, folks. Brandon Carr is there. So is Jan Bouvier. Keep your eyes peeled because you might see another three carts imminently. You could probably add to that. Well, you're going to add another two. Paul Fokima and Matty Hingley. Jaden Thien looking up the inside of Ariel Elkin. As is Sean Butcher through turn six. Oh, that was very close between the 301 and the 868. But Sean Butcher gets through as far in Mega gets muscled out. And that was by Brandon Carr and Jan Bouvier. They both got through out of turn number seven. This is absolutely brilliant to watch. Right, here we go into turn number 12. Jaden Thien is ahead of Sean Butcher at the moment. And now Ariel Elkin looking up the inside of the youngster from the Netherlands. The 337 from RR Racing has to slot back in behind. <laughs> Just keep your eyes on everyone behind the, this, this train. It's the, it's the Sean Butcher train right now because Jaden Thien is behind him in fourth. Ariel Elkin in fifth. Ariel Elkin looked up the inside as Jan Bouvier was looking up the inside of Brandon Carr. Carr goes defensive down the Irapolan. And with a minute and 10 seconds to go. Oh! Oh my goodness me. Paul Fokima loses the back end of the car going through turn seven and manages to keep a hold of it. And Matty Hingley gets through on the most. Uh, in terms of age, the most senior driver here. Well done to Matty Hingley for putting a num doing a number on Paul Fokima. 45 seconds, folks. Roller coaster, here we go. It's like Nemesis at Alton Towers. Brandon Carr now looking up the inside of Jan Bouvier and gets through. And so does Matt. Uh, well, this is <laughs> brilliant stuff. Jan Bouvier keeps it pinned. Matty Hingley there. Paul Fokima. And now a little bit of a tussle between Sean Butcher and Jaden Thien. Ariel Elkin is with them and he's kept pace. Linus turned through the chicane at turn number seven. Go Butcher, Thien and Elkin. And they have lost major time. Thien's just had Elkin up the inside who gets through for fourth position through turn nine. But look at the train of colour behind. Hingley gets through, back on Fokima. Bouvier's there. Mega's there. Hingley. Fok, uh, keep, keep your eyes on the likes of William Heldstrand. Jaden Thien threading the eye of the needle through for fourth place. Past Ariel Elkin. Oh, <laughs> Matty Hingley is doing a great job here. Farin Mega just has uh, Bennett Ahrens up the inside and the German takes the position away. That's P10. And now Emily de Hoys is not too far adrift either. There she is. Oh, she tags into the back. And that's the Argenti cart going off the circuit. Aditya Kulkarni. It was a tag from behind. Courtesy of Emily de Hoys on firing Mega. Mega went sideways. Kulkarni had to avoid it. Well, that is one for the history books here, folks. As race 14 comes to a close and two victories so far for Sunderland's Kai Hunter who wins ahead of Lewis Gilbert it's exactly a repeat of what we saw in the opening race for senior road tax and look at the train behind as they flood their way across the line <laughs> oh yeah yeah everything thrown at us from a viewer perspective right there but there is your race winner. Two for two for Kai Hunter. And also the interesting thing is, who's not to say it might be the one, the Hunter brother that won it last year? Could it be the Hunter brother that didn't win it last year, but wins this year? Now that'd be a little bit of history written in the, uh, the Golden Trophy that's been around since 2017. So let's have a look at the race results. The Heat 4, Senior Rotax. Kai Hunter winning ahead of Lewis Gilbert. A repeat of what we saw in the opening heat earlier on today by nearly seven, uh, six tenths of a second. Sean Butcher 
was third, ahead of uh, Jaden Thien, Eddie Elkin, Brandon Carr, Matty Hingley, Paul Fokima, Jan Bouvier, Bennett Ahrens, and Emily De Hoys running at the top 11. Uh, William Houtstand, Ralph Underpaver, Mats Johan Overhoff having a good one. 14th place ahead of Farin Mega, uh, who ended up 15th after that moment. At turn six, William Christensen, Aditya Kulkarni, 17th after that scare, ahead of Kaz Boshaus. Arnold Dominko, Milo Kaskinen, Daniel Mualem, uh, Curtis Latimer, and Sonia Grönlund running at the 23 that finished. Retiring from the race, Matthias Kron, uh, Jens van der Heyden, Jere Kokalainen, Janin Niemi, James Johnson, and Liam Hesmans from the Netherlands. So we're going to take a look back at this, what was a fantastic heat. We had close quarter actions, we had great saves. So things got underway pretty, pretty good. Uh, Lewis Gilbert led the field as the red lights extinguished on the start finish straight. And then everyone started to fan out a little bit. And uh, it was very, very close indeed. Brandon Carr got compromised going into turn two, nearly ending up into the back bumper, probably onto the back of the mounting points on the seat on his uh, LN uh, Lando Norris uh, cart chassis. But this was the opening for Ray. So Sean Butcher did take the lead. Brandon Carr was trying to be a little bit forceful with Kai Hunter, but the 395 managed to get through. And this is where we see Jens van der Heiden going round. And oh, a hefty impact. Everyone started to avoid Jens van der Heiden out on the spot. I'm wondering if James Johnson actually had a technical problem. But then this was where the race would take another twist. Sean Butcher being passed by Kai Hunter. Sean Butcher would lose out to Lewis Gilbert for second position, but would retake it later on in the race. And then this happened, which was Lewis Gilbert up the inside, got a bit squirrely on the curbs. And then here comes Ariel Elkin, actually sending it probably from his home nation. Then, then there's Farin Mega. Sean Butcher goes off the track after a little bit of a sidewall touch between the pair. But Butcher recovers. There's uh, Adita Kulkarni being inadvertently barged out the way but not through far in mega's fault but kai hunter takes another victory here in senior road tax the only driver to provisionally have won two so far and the cart that is being brought back in that is going to be 